Oh, blowing your nose on a live stream. That's inappropriate. We're coming to you live at 627.20 for Jaw Harp Live. Mr. Pickles is sleeping back there. I just recently vacuumed all the pickle hair off there. Now he's set up shop in the chillery. But I digress. What are we doing? We're playing some harps. I'm going to be playing. Got some new Rekka in this week. Uh, they kind of redid their tailless. They're now super thick frame. Really tight gap, tall trigger. We were live last night on Instagram. Tried to screen record it. Had a special guest, uh, Kevin Hohenschelt, I think his name was. And I tried to screen record it. It screen recorded in silence. So I re-screen recorded it tonight. And yeah, should have that up tomorrow. What harps is everybody into? What are you playing? Oh, we've awoken the great deity, Mr. Pickles. How y'all doing? Chris says, hello, how are you? I am very well. We went to Rock City today. Uh, seeing some giant old sandstone concretions from when Kansas was under the ocean. J Jake Fontaine says, does Glazer and Vatman have good push and blow start mine? Will be arriving soon. No. Um, all the Glazer won't have a draw start because the reeds sit perfectly flat with the front. If you want to have it, uh, give it a draw start, you can manually push forward on the reed and bend it slightly in front of there, it's going to make it more distorted. Anytime you have a draw start, it won't be as clean as sound. So if your Batman arrives and you do want it to have a draw start, take and lightly, very lightly, bend the, re the reed out in front and you'll have a wicked draw start. But it's gonna be very distorted. The more you bend it forward, the more distorted it's gonna be. Most of the time, I don't get down with the draw start, so I like the cleaner sound, but every once in a while, I'll get down on a draw start. Mark Swartout says, Happy Saturday. Glazer and draw is good, but not to start. The ukulele dude is in the... Oh, yes, hello. Dronoville evening for me. And um, Carson... Oh, yeah, hey, Carson Polson. How you doing? I've been playing some Rekka, playing some of my own harps. I was playing a couple Glazer and harps. Let's see. Where am I even at? I brewed up some tea today. Brewed some... Gunpowder green tea in the Sun Tea Machine. And it's my first time brewing green tea outside, so yeah, it doesn't taste too bad. And I uh, brewed some black tea as well. What am I going to play here? Another Recco one. <laughs> Dual Sport PNW says, Love the sound of the turtle harp you made. Oh, yes. The turtle harp. Is that the one? Oh, yes. Is this this one? Yeah, I accidentally ran over a turtle this summer. And I couldn't swerve. I was in. I drive a giant box truck for my job doing heating and air. I was coming up over over a hill, happened right upon the turtle. There was no way I could swerve, you know, because that box truck could just tip over. Ended up mashing the turtle, so I built the harp in its honor. And yeah, the sound on it's really strong. I used 1095 uh, spring steel on it, Rockwell of uh, 48, and then distally tapered it all the way down to the tips. And distal taper isn't taper from this dimension is if you lay the harp on its side, it's taper in this dimension. I always taper the front, I leave the back flat, which makes it easier to align it properly for a bell ring. When you grind on both sides, I find it harder to get really clean sound because you don't know where the center point of the reed is. Chris says, today I got a Glazerin Batman. Oh, awesome, the Batman. You can play them fast, you can play them slow. They're probably one of my favorite Glazerins. <laughs> Oh yes, um, other news in the world. Vladimir Markov, otherwise known here on YouTube as Jews Harper, um, famous uh, YouTuber, Russian bargain, I'd say expert, uh, uh, who resurrected or did a lot to resurrect the ancient arts of melodic playing and ancient harps. He ended up passing away last week, sadly. Um, if you haven't checked out his channel, it goes by the name of Jews Harper. His videos are High production, really good playing. Uh, somebody says hello, something. Oh, I missed your comment. I was rambling, but yes, we lost Vladimir Markov, the great Jews harper this week. Carson Polson, hi there. Let's see, what are we going to play? I was going to play another hybrid. I'm going to start recommending people hybrids. Hybrid and Gorka Talus for their first Morchang because the hybrids are really easy to play. And 
have a good dry non-saturated tone <laughs> If I was to be singing, that's what kind of the mouth shapes I'd be making. <laughs> Jay Skill Heisenberg said, "Love your stuff." I I love you too. I, it's wonderful to meet you. There's a we got the Udu in the back. Mr. Pickles is now laying on the floor, taunting me, silently judging me. What is he going to do? Adding some open closed glottis stuff in there. Somebody says, think about ordering Vescovich. Yes, do that. Vescovich are wonderful. Charles Longstaff, how are you doing? I've got a whole bunch. I mean, 60 ounces of tea for tonight. I don't know if I'll drink it all. I had a whole bunch of uh, gunpowder green tea in the sun tea machine. And then some black tea as well. throwing in in the past couple days Thursday and Friday night last night I was playing inward and outward a little bit I play predominantly inward um, but I was throwing in some outward some bouncing and sometimes I try to use it like pepper not to use too much because if I do too much bouncing then I'm killing my my resonance too much because I'm not a really good fast player so I try to leave enough meat there that I can work off of it <laughs> Yes, Mr. Pickles, you have been fed, dude. I should have put you out in the garage. He's going to harass me. He'll bully me until I give him uh, wet cat food. He gets wet cat food and nip on Friday, Thursday, Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. So anytime I'm relaxing and having a beer and playing a harp, he knows. He's like, I can I can con you into either cat nip or wet food. That's the way cats are. How about, how about you take a chill on the treadmill? There you go. Oh, yes, some other harps we got in this week. I've got a Dabrowski that should be coming in. I've got Foam and Cough that should be coming in. And everything, Chris has them starting to figure out the marching. Oh, yes, and when I first played marching, I hated them because I was used to having that uh, saturation, that abundance of the higher overtones, the cracklings. And... It took me a while to get down the more chain. Um, my mind really started, hello, pickles. He's going to continue harassing me. My mind really started to open up about the more chain once Mark Glottis told me about the open close. And George Desjardins, hello. Say hello to pickles who's begging for wet food. I'm just going to keep throwing him off of here. He'll eventually understand that, oh, we got to play the harp. Yes, Mr. Pickles. What was I playing? Oh, yes. Had, uh, it has been a while. How's uh, Colorado been? Kansas has been good. We opened Kansas back up, and now the cases of COVID are coming back up. So that's uh, that's always the way. It's good to be. It's good to be getting the numbers up. I guess. No, don't take everything I say seriously. These are uh, Gorkas. These are recreations of 18th century fur trapper um, harps. Um, Gorka measured up uh, an archaeological find. And made these. You'll see um, people uh, like in trappers and Native Americans wearing these in necklaces around their neck, just like uh, just like this, because they were a common trade uh, item at trading posts. And yeah, I, I left the. They come with a draw start. I left one with a draw start. Then I took the draw start out of one. Here's the one without the draw start. They're very short, very stiff little harps. Clean, very very smooth and down. Gorka does a good job of making a harp feel very smooth. While leaving, his, you can see his file marks on there. Um, yo, 
Oh, you like that one? Yeah, they are really cool. They're kind of pricey because they're they're recreations of an archaeological uh, build, and I think he puts a little bit more time into them because the gaps you can see the gaps are they're very nicely done. Like, Mr. Z, I like the name. How you doing? <laughs> And maybe in the future I might be doing more of the Instagram live, but I'm no longer um, with special guests. I'm no longer seeking out uh, people to come on and be guests on there. But if anybody is interested in the future to come on and be a guest, um, share uh, share a live screen, share a live screen live stream on Instagram. Get a hold of me. Shoot me a message. Uh, say say something in the comments. But yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing much of the guest thing anymore. I had a hard time tracking people down to get them to come on the show. And then our schedules were always conflicting and I do heating and air, which makes it impossible to schedule anything. But no TV, Mr. Mr. Z says, yeah, we're not watching TV today. We're, we be harping. I'll end tonight probably at two o'clock in the morning after I played harps for a long time and watched a movie with my wife. I'll probably end it by watching PBS Eons. If, if anybody's on YouTube, PBS Eons is a really cool show talking about way ancient Earth from a scientific, archaeological, paleontological point of view. <laughs> This one is really, really easy to get started and stop. So I go, yo. Yes, Mr. Pick Bay. I just vacuumed a ton of hair off of this couch. You, you got to stay down for a bit. We got a dog who's a bully breed, but the cat is more of a bully than the dog is. I'm experimenting around with playing outward a bit and I'm I kind of you can see it in it you can hear it and feel it that I'm kind of uncomfortable because I just I don't play outward enough let's just delve into some outward <laughs> wasn't really feeling that when I tried to get lost in it and I tried to force it and when you're trying to force it it just never works out good and it has that draw on it I'm not I'm not awesome with the draw let's get into something different since I just made a fool out of myself there um and you know if you've watched the channel for very long I am a fool um but if you're gonna do anything be good at it so uh, somebody says, Mr. Z says, I know a good technique for playing outward with your four fingers on your cheek. Oh, cool. We're going to try this. I haven't done this for probably a week, and I have been, haven't been paying as much attention to the Susap, so I'm a little rusty. The one thing I have been doing a bit is playing this here. Kubin. There's a particular one. There's a lower one and a higher one. I definitely like the higher one more. And I've, I've gotten decent enough on this cubing now that, uh, or sorry, not cubing, karending from Indonesia. Um, Abba Adon makes these. I've gotten good enough in striking it that I have to kind of dial it back because if I strike it very hard, it'll actually come into my mouth and hit my tongue. So yeah, the throw on this thing, I don't know if it breaks in or if I've just, I know that I've gotten a lot better playing it and I can get, I get it to ring. And I'm not plugging it forward. I'm actually just striking it right here with the bone of my thumb. Striking it, coming right back off, just pat, 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 pat. Kind of like a loose hand type of thing. Oh, hee, ho, oh, hee, ho, oh, hee. I'm kind of elongating my mouth just a little bit because it's throwing so long on me.
Chris says the Amentinov Vargan might come this Wednesday or Thursday. Oh yeah, Amentinov are really, really good. What else have I been into? Got some harps in. Where is my Baskovich? I don't know where you at. I didn't do much planning uh, for this upload. Didn't have hearts out my Vescovich. I don't know where he is at the moment. Vescovich, where are you? And this isn't a Vescovich, this is a Plehnov. I don't know where my Vescovich is. This setup I have of just having harps laying on a table is not the best setup for finding ones easy. like a good place to go let's just keep switching up the harps does anybody have any requests um does anybody what what is everybody playing we had some people who were playing some of us uh oh there it is speak of the devil and he will merge right there that's the uh, i keep falling into kind of like a boston <laughs> accent impersonation because i've been doing it a lot at home mr z says i can't figure out how to do that that breathing and part in the end of the songs oh well you need a harp with a draw start and if you have a harp with a draw start it will be much much easier that's where a lot of your um some of your more chang are going to have it offset forward you can take any harp you own and curve the reed forward and you can get that most harps if you breathe in like that it's going to stop it what's the most expensive harp i own uh the burt sev is yeah definitely the burt sev and I've got a tune set made by Masco that's going to be coming in in the next couple months. And Vescovich is also going to tune set. Somebody asked about the most expensive one. Definitely this one, the Burt Sev, is the most expensive thing I own. And I play it pro. I don't play it a lot. I do play it a bit. It's probably the one I wear the most often because it's cool looking. It's stainless steel. The, the reed on it will rust, but if you wipe it really clean, it won't really rust. It'll more patina. But yeah, the Burt Sev. And I used to get lots of clicks out of it because I'd force it. I'd try to play it fast. I wouldn't have timing it correctly. And I was playing a holotrope, double plucking it. Last night was having good results. I wasn't plucking super fast. I was more concentrating on my timing. So this is something I'm going to delve into in the future. If I'm going to pluck fast, I'm going to be conscientious of the timing of the pluck. Because if we think about a reed, the reed's going back. It's going forth. If you're contacting it at weird intervals... Like if it goes all the way forward, then it starts back and you hit it back forward, you can cause it to wobble. Also, is that an Udu drum? It is an Udu. Udu, just like you do. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not terribly good on the Udu. I gave away my 16 inch frame drum to a uh, one of my nephews and I got another one coming. Here in the next week or so and then i've got a 12 inch frame drum i'm going to be getting more into the drums drums and i played rattles last night too are really meditational for me have you tried playing too hard during ice bath i have not taken an ice bath before uh Let's see if i can do this here like a me 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 Yeah, 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 yeah
Hollowing my mouth and my throat out. It sounds like a psych psychedelic frog, just ribbit, ribbit. Carson Poland says, what am I playing tonight? This is a Burt Sev. Somebody asked about my most expensive harp, and that's... I don't think I've ever spent more on a single instrument than my Burt Sev. I had another one show up, and it was Ben. I had to send it back. I'm still waiting for it to return. It got bent in shipping. Somebody was a little rough with it. Okay. Oh, yes, the Vaskovich. Vaskovich, I think, or Vashkovic. It's either Vashkovic or Vashkovich. That was a big jug of green tea. Vashkovich. Oh, wow. We got we got a gaggle of people. How are y'all doing? I didn't realize that many people watch this. How are y'all doing? Welcome to the harp and the harp raid. And also, something really sad did happen this week. Uh, Vladimir Markov, uh, the one here on YouTube, known as Juice Harper, he ended up passing away. A guy who from Russia who just contributed so much to the jaw harp community, so it was really sad to hear that. Check out his channel, it's called Juice Harper. He's got a ton of videos that are really cool. Hey, Smelly One, how you doing? How, how's the harp been treating you? What I'm doing there, that frog sound, I was like, yo, yo. But I'm I'm doing it on an in-breath thing. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Oh, I like the sound of that. To get it to go up, I shoot my tongue. Yo. He says, my only harp is a, oh, Virtual Trips is jamming. Oh, nice. I'm glad to be jamming with you, Virtual Trips. Anyways, we are 24 minutes. We'll go a couple more minutes and we'll call it quits with that. Um... Get my mind right for the evening and watch a movie and then spend two or three hours playing the harp, rattling, playing the drums, getting weird. As I want to do on a Saturday. You know, Saturday is yesterday's Friday. <laughs> Mark Moss isn't playing. Oh, nice. They're a really good conversation. Hours. Oh, yes, they are. Um, careful about playing in the pandemic now because um, if you think about what a sneeze does, I'm betting if you looked at a harp like and was able to see water particles, I'm betting that it's vaporizing water particles out into the air. So careful um, playing in public because uh, pandemic, the uh, COVID COVID is still around. Um, uh, I don't know what else to say. Should you hydro dip when you're, I don't know what a hydro dip is. Um, anyways, 
I love y'all. Be sure to harp out. Uh, keep your harps clean. Keep them dry. Keep them oiled. Be good to each other. Enjoy the time that is today and the time that is tomorrow. Love y'all. No, no, I'm going to play something distorted and weird. I, I play too many clean harps. Basically, a really good-looking paint job. I would not paint a reed um, if it was me because it's going to eventually flake off because um, it's flexing a lot. Um, and also, it's going to change how the reed behaves if you put anything on it. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome for going live. And if anybody wants to be a part of my Instagram live uh, stream, uh, get a hold of me on my email or on Facebook or on Instagram, on BebCorp on Instagram. Um, I love y'all. Adios. Hello, pickles. Yes, you will get your wet food. Your time is coming. The tea is coming. Leroy F says, mainly just play it with my family. I They cringe when I call it a boinger, though. Um, yeah. Yeah. My brother refers to them as doingers as well. Love y'all. Harp out. Harp out in hell. In the stream. Somebody says, what the heck am I playing right now? This is a uh, uh, Ildar leaf. Ildar are not clean playing harps. The reeds come, they're all fuzzy they got little burrs on them but they are just way out there weird and it's asking me do you want to stop the streaming well maybe perhaps should i press it should i not press it i don't know what i'm doing where am i who am i this is mr pickles somebody says his new instrument hasn't come from russia yes right now if you've inter ordered an international shipment um expect delays of anywhere from one to three to seven months you don't know um you might want to if it's been a while if it's been a month or two you might want to put an inquiry out on it um, lots of stuff are held up um, the united states isn't i uh, receiving many shipments of mail via uh, plane a lot of stuff's coming on boat so if you're ordering internationally you can you you can rest assured that you're sometimes going to see your uh mouth harps disappear and re-merge months later somewhere else <laughs> 